So, hi Charmaine, it's Sally. Um, I just thought it might be fun for uh, you to see a video of me making one of your wall sconces. Well, certainly making the body of it. Um, it still has a, a another process it has to go through. Anyway, um, I'm starting with a lump of um, just over about three and a half pounds of clay. So I'm gonna turn my camera down to the wheel and it chops off my head. But um, anyway, you get an idea of what it what it is and the process of making one of your sconces. So I I can show you. This is the one of the ones I made yesterday, and what I end up doing is I will cut it down the middle, open it up, um, size it properly, uh, form it and then put on the brackets that you will use to attach it to the wall. So that's where I'm headed with this piece. And, uh, and we're good to go. And I have a ruler. Oh, where's my ruler? Where's my ruler? Oh, hold on a second. Sorry about that. So this is a, a special ruler I have uh, that I use when I'm um, when I'm making pieces to a specific size, which yours is. You're very specific on it being five inches wide and ten inches tall. So I actually make it bigger than that because clay shrinks as it dries, and then I will give it what they call a bisque fire. It's first firing. I glaze it and then I fire it a second time and uh, and then I end up with a finished product. So it was a good eye on you to see that that did look a little bit bigger, although a picture, it's hard to uh, discern the size when you're dealing with a photograph. Anyway, um, I do constantly measure this piece as I'm making it through. because I don't want to make it too big. So this is the first part of the pottery process. You probably don't know. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos, but this is what we call centering the clay. And as you can see, it looks like it's, whether it's spinning or not, it looks like it's still, which means I've properly centered the clay. Now I'm gonna make the well in the middle which is the hole. Creating the opening on the bottom of the pot. Now I'm just thinning out the clay on the wall. And what I'm going to do is through a process of what we call poles, I'm gonna take all of this clay and I'm gonna turn what is now about four inches into something that's actually 11 inches tall because you want them 10 inches. I have to make them larger than that, again, because of the shrinkage. And this is just, um, this is where the skill comes in. I wouldn't have been able to do this a few years ago. I didn't have the skill but I've been making a lot of tall forms lately and repetition is the best teacher in this medium. So the more pieces that I make, the better I get. So right now, all I'm doing is in my first pull is I'm just bringing my hands up steady and I'm just evening out the thickness of the clay but all of this clay only has one place to go and that's up. So in that one pole, I've turned four inches into eight inches.
Hi, how are you? Again, I'm going to measure it. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab all this excess clay. And this is the fun part. And I'm just going to pull and move it up the pot. Okay, so I need to take it up just a little bit more. And this is how I make your sconces. And then what I'm gonna do is, I leave it out for the day and overnight and let it dry to what they get to what we call leather hard, which means it, it is still workable. I can still do stuff to it, but it will hold its shape. It's almost like, a you know, the leather in a leather belt, which is where they get the term leather hard. In real life, let me tell you what this is in real life to show you the difference. Okay. In real life, this is about 11 and a half inches. But it will shrink. So I've got it the height I need. And now what I'm doing is I'm just using one of my tools, my it's called a rib tool, and I'm just smoothing out the all the throwing lines that I've I've made while constructing this piece. I'm really pleased with this one I've made. Uh, as I tell you, I, because of the other ones that I've made, um, each time I make it, I just get better and better. So it took a few flops to get to to this point, but um, but that's it. I will. Um, I'll just do a couple of finishing touches and fiddle with it just a little bit, just to make sure that the sides are are really really straight. And um, and there you have it. So that's how I make your your scones. Like I said, what I will do is I will I will cut it and cut out the excess. I will form it and make it shape, and then and then I set it up to dry. So that will take a few days because of the you know all the rain that we're having. It is taking a lot longer to dry. So anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>